my god! <laughs> Sorry, I'd already seen it, but I'd kind of forgotten, so seeing it again was like, whoa. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new who has joined because of the remasters, my name is Suzanne and I am a gamer and huge Tomb Raider fan from Ireland. So I just finished my Tomb Raider 1 remastered playthrough, that was awesome, but I am so excited to get into Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 2 is my favourite Tomb Raider game, so I can't wait for this. As usual with my Tomb Raider playthroughs, I'm going to be going through the story and the characters and all that kind of info as I'm playing. And just to say before I start, because I know a bunch of people are going to ask, yes, I'm playing Unfinished Business. That will start in a few days and it will be sprinkled in between Tomb Raider 2 videos. So do not worry, that is also coming. You guys should know by now that I will never leave a Tomb Raider stone unturned. Okay, so of course we are going to start this off with Lara's home, one of my favorite things ever, so let's just get into it. Right, let's go. Oh my gosh, you look so good. Sorry, I need to calm down and stop doing that weird Welcome thing. Back. After that grueling business last year, I decided to build this assault course to hone my skills and learn some new ones. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really trying not to squeal because firstly, that is just annoying to listen to. And secondly, I have to spend extra time when editing noise reducing on the microphone. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to squeal, but oh my God, look at how pretty she is. Oh my god. Her her braid's a little glitching. It, it's a little glitching, but it's fine. It's fine. Glitchy braid. I'm sure they'll patch it. She is stunning. Oh, stunning. Okay, I just need to get it out of my system. Get it out of my system and then I'll be fine. Winston, you look great. Look at him there. Is he... You can see him shaking. You can actually see him shaking. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's let's just calm down and do the assault course first. Look, you can even see his teapot with his little cup. Look at the difference. Oh my God. Wow, I'm impressed, right? Oh god, I actually feel really bad for him. He looks really old and frail there now. Um, okay, so focus, focus. Okay, so I'm gonna do the obstacle course to just, you know, calm myself a bit and then we'll get into into some of the other fun stuffs. I'm so sorry guys, but you should know by now that I cannot control myself when it comes to the remasters. <laughs> I cannot control myself. Right. Okay, let, let, let's just see what time I... Oh, Winston, are you coming with us? I would pay money to see Winston do this obstacle course. But yeah, I'm not going for like a good time on this or anything. I usually mess it up. I'm, I'm just going to do it for the laughs and see how I do. Okay, go. There's definitely a quicker way to do this. Ooh, nice. Ah, they still made it so you can't, um... Oh, sugar, I shouldn't have done that. I should have jumped up. It's quicker. Oh, well. Oh, the ropes are looking good. Those are some nice ropes. Um... Yeah, they still made it so you can't grab that rope ladder from jumping off the slope, which is super annoying. Like this one you can. Oh my God, look at the sky, it's beautiful. I can't wait to go up on that roof. Right, okay, we're gonna, no, 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 swan dive, yeah. This is so good. 
I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry when I see the house. I'm just getting glimpses of it now and I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God, I'm actually crying. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Don't know what is wrong with me. Nice. Congratulations. You did it. But perhaps I could have been faster. <laughs> She always says that to me. She's never said good time because I'm a I'm a slowpoke. Feel free to explore the rest of the house and gardens. I will. Don't you worry, Lara. I will. Oh, look at the grass. It, it needs a bit of a trim, though. Or are these flowers? No, it looks like grass. Yeah, you see, this this was nice and manicured. Need to give out to Winston. He's he's let the place go. <laughs> there he is, trying desperately to catch up with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so mean. Um oh look at these. I like the leafy vines. <gasps> Oh my god, this is a dream come true. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> the difference. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with I'm so sorry. I actually don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's just because like when I was a kid, Croft Manor was always my happy place. Like sometimes I would literally just put the Tomb Raider discs into my PlayStation and play through each of the Croft Manors. That's how much I love these. And I just always wished that I could live in Croft Manor and seeing it like this just makes me really emotional. I don't know why. Oh, so nice. Oh, the bell. Oh God, yes! I love it. I love the bell. Oh, those are some nice horses. Were they there before? They were. You could just see stuff better. Wow. The only criticism I have of Croft Manor is these- Oh jeez, calm down Winston. Is that these rugs, carpet thingies are horrible. If there was different rugs, it'd be- it'd be lovely. Right, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, his shaking makes me feel so bad for him. So bad. Um, so I want to do some info on Winston, but I don't want to have that tick tick ticking of the clock in the background because that's a bit annoying. Um, oh, maybe I can put on the music like to be in the background while I do it. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Bit of Venice violins for us. Winston is here. Let us start the music. Right, no, Winston, you were supposed to stay there. Oh, do you know what? Doesn't matter. Would you calm down? Just stand there, okay? If you did miss my Tomb Raider 1 Croft Manor video, I would suggest going back and watching it if you want to know a bit of Lara's backstory and the history of this house and how she came by it and all of that. But the only new thing now in Tomb Raider 2 is that, of course, we can go outside, which is great. And also, Winston. Winston is new, so let's do a little backstory on Winston. I think most Tomb Raider fans would recognise Winston as just being the creepy butler who scared the crap out of them as a child and who they loved to lock in the freezer, which we will be doing. But Winston actually has a really nice backstory. So Winston Jeeves <laughs> is Lara Croft's 
Butler. It's funny how he came about this name. So the Tomb Raider fans actually christened him Jeeves before a name was officially came up with and released for him. So all the fans were calling him Jeeves. So when Core did decide to officially name him, they decided to keep that in honor of the fans. So they kept that as a second name and then they gave him the first name of Winston. So Winston Jeeves. So Winston Jeeves was born on the 7th of February, 1924. I do think it's really nice just to note that of course, Lara's birthday is on the 14th of February. So their birthdays are quite close together, which is quite cute. Winston was born in a village called Connessee in Ireland. So that's of course the fact that I think is super cool. Um, Winston is Irish, but the village of Connessee actually doesn't exist in real life. It's just a fictional village made up for Tomb Raider. So Winston was a soldier in World War II until he was honorably discharged after being wounded in battle. Winston then returned to Ireland and began working for his father as gamekeeper on a local estate. So I presume a local fancy stately home employed his father and then when he returned from the war he joined his father there and began working as the gamekeeper on the grounds of this stately home. So while working as gamekeeper, Winston formed a bond with Lord Henshinley Croft, who, as we previously discussed, is Lara's father in the original Tomb Raider timeline. How did Winston bond with Lord Henshinley Croft? They apparently bonded during a pheasant shooting excursion that Winston was organizing, of course, as gamekeeper, he was in charge of that. And I presume Lord Henshinley Croft was visiting the estate and going on these excursions and they formed a bond, they formed a friendship. So much so, in fact, that Winston was specifically requested into service by Lord Henshinley Croft. Lara's father liked him so much that he offered him a job. He said to him, please come over to England, work in my home, Croft Manor. And you know, I'm sure he offered him lots of perks and, and all of that. So Winston became the Crofts butler. And Winston used to keep little Lara company while her parents were off on their travels and doing, I don't know, whatever lords and ladies do. <laughs> but they weren't home and he used to keep Lara company and look after her. And so he became like a father to Lara. And again, as we discussed previously, Lara was disowned by her parents who did not agree with her adventurous lifestyle. And this manor that she lives in now is not the Croft Manor family home. It is a different manor that she inherited from her aunt. So I'm assuming that after her parents disowned Lara, Lara actually requested that Winston come with her to her new home or Winston just voluntarily followed her. So you can tell their relationship is really nice. It's really strong. And I think it's obvious that they actually care about each other a lot, which is so beautiful. Now let's go lock him in the freezer. <laughs> It feels so mean to do that after telling the backstory. <laughs> but yeah, look, it has to be done because I can't deal with him following us around all the time and rattling, rattling that. But first, let's go for a swim. Whee! This is so gorgeous. Ooh, are those little fish designs? I think so. Oh, they're so cute. The, yeah, okay, it's Tomb Raider 3 that has the button behind here. I always get confused. It's a cool diving board. Go away, Winston. Stop your rattling. That is so cute that they're little goldfish. You could not tell that before at all. Wow. 
and this oh <gasps> look at the sky oh wow gorgeous it actually looks like glass now right come on come on winston let's let's go into the freezer now don't fight it Wee. okay uh let's open this because why not um oh and it's nice to see that the massive sink hasn't changed <laughs> this kitchen is so crazy like out of proportion it's hilarious <laughs> i know it's probably because they just had to work with the the grid design but it's still so funny Ooh, she's got a lot of salt and pepper would you look at all those salt and pepper shakers what is she doing with all that and they're in the original too what is she at what are these oh my god are these like herbs and spices <gasps> are they fresh ones hanging up that is so cool massive kettle look that kettle is bigger than lara's entire face what is this tea for giants i do <laughs> it's so comical right that's it winston get in here oh that meat is looking like meat that's great fabulous Right, come on, Winston. We really don't have all day. Like, you're nice and all, but in <gasps> into the freezer you go. Oops. Right, I'll come back and get you later. What does that say? Giovanni. Interesting. Right. So. Um. Right, let's have a look up here. No, let's not do that actually because I don't have flares. Let's um let's go onto the roof and figure out the maze and then let's do the maze i'm so like i'm so excited i don't know what to do first <laughs> the fish is looking well that's a nice fish oh <gasps> oh my god look the hedges look like hedges <gasps> oh they're swaying they're swaying in the wind is so beautiful <laughs> right so we're gonna corner bug it up onto the roof just because why not it's fun we that worked quite quickly oh my god they put like shingles that's so cool is that what they're called shingles roof tiles i don't know i don't have a roof so that's not information that I need to know. I I live in an apartment, by the way. Like my home has a ceiling. It's like I just don't have to maintain a roof. You, you know what I mean? Oh wow! It kind of just looks like Lara's mansion is floating in the abyss, though. <laughs> to be fair it looked like that before too <laughs> yep we're just we're just floating in the air <sighs> all good sorry guys this video is going to be like 45 minutes long of me just faffing around in craft manner but you know what i don't care i don't care i'm enjoying myself <laughs> i make no apologies Right, so 
a nice roof. Okay, so of course we have to go onto the balcony. Whoops. Just because. Funsies. Nice. Okay. Um, oops. I'm just going to run around this way. Just have a look at it. Because I want to have a look at everything. God, I've always wanted a garden this big. But again, I now live in an apartment, so I would settle for just a garden. Full stop. I have a balcony though. I have a balcony. <laughs> so what I want to do is jump on the conservatory. Then jump from the conservatory to the maze. And then from, I, w I want to go outside the gate as well. Why not? Let's, let's do it all. Right. Um, can I, oh shit. Oh, yikes. Okay. That hurt, but we're okay. We're alive. <laughs> okay. So we're on the conservatory. And I, what I used to do when I was a kid is I used to stand up there and like work out the quickest way through the maze from the roof, but I'm pretty sure I know it now, I think. Um, yeah, so I think it should be okay. But yeah, that's a good, that's a good trick if you're having difficulty with the maze. Oh my god, it is the abyss. It's the abyss! Ah, oh, I love Craft Manor. I love it. Not sure if I'm gonna survive <sighs> dropping down here. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Great. So now we can run around this teeny tiny oh would you look at that floating there oh, was that the side of the garden can you can you fall off here no it's in passable but yeah it's it's not much out here it's just something cool to do I always feel like I have to do it. Craft Manor is not complete without it. Uh, okay. How do I get back up again? I think I corner bug it here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we've corner bugged our way out and then we can safely drop down, hopefully, over here. I don't know why. I just love that so much. Right. Okay. Enough messing around with the corner bug. Let's go into the maze and do all that. Go see the treasure room. Okay. So I think... Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, and they the leaves like on the ground and stuff. It's so cool. Uh, do I remember this properly? I don't know. I don't know. 
Yes, I think I do. It's in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> flares. Wonderful flares. Okay, I think someone said to me in the comments, uh, I believe it was Alchemist Days, hello, <laughs> um, that there's no like shortcut button for the flares, but I know Alchemist Days said to press select and then you could kind of pull the flares out somehow i'm sorry i don't remember i will go back and read it and i know a ton of jesus a ton of people have been telling me that i can also do that with weapons like press select and then kind of quick select them i've been trying it and it's just not been working for me but i'm stupid so uh i will keep trying to figure that out I just, I have a bit of difficulty <laughs> with things sometimes. Um, please do bear with me. It's, it's a work in progress. Okay, let's go. Shake a leg. Yes. Okay. Because like the select button. No. Is... No. Oh! Got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you, Alchemist Days. Ooh, we got the treasure room. Oh, it looks so good. I will try the weapons in a second, but I just want to look at this first. You can actually tell that it's gold. Oh, it's so beautiful. Give me a look at everything. I like that rug. So pretty. <gasps> Let me see the cat. Oh, it's so cute. I like that little Easter egg that that's what Lara took back with her from Unfinished Business, I think. Temple of the Cat. It's really, really cool. So yeah, clearly Lara's rich. She's got no need for... Oh, what is that? That's amazing. She's got no need for money. I wonder what that is. Oh, I have a feeling. Is that another Indiana Jones Easter egg? I have a feeling that it is, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Please do put in the comments if you know right so that's awesome we've got flares oh hello we've got flares and we know how to use them and let's let's just oh hang on let's check upstairs and then let's be nice and release Winston from the freezer we will we will be nice to him okay does that work with weapons oh sure I won't be able to check it here because I've got no weapons duh sorry I'll check it in the next I'll check it in the next <laughs> level I don't know where my head does be at sometimes Do you know, this was always, you know, such a meh room when I was a kid. I was like, oh yeah, an attic, big deal. Do you know, I would give anything to have an attic. I would give anything to have a storage space. Uh, because apartments in Ireland are built without any storage. We've no storage room utility room nothing like that your 
washing machine and everything is in your kitchen. You have no space to store anything. There's no outside the apartment spaces. So I know in like some apartments you kind of will go down to a basement area, maybe in the building, and then everyone will have like their own cage where they can, you know, lock it and store things. Yeah, we don't have those either. So basically, you just gotta squish your stuff in somehow. So that's where we're at here. Ooh, look at the look at the maze. It looks so good. So yeah, that attic makes me insanely jealous. Insanely jealous. I'd love to have just just a little storage room. Just a little one. Right, I'm excited to play the Tomb Raider 3 Craft Manor where there's a lot more to do. But this is just so fun. Uh, oops, hit my head apparently. Giving myself a concussion. This is just so fun. Running around. I used to spend hours running around this as a kid. I kind of almost used to use it as like Barbie. So I used to... I used to play. I used to pretend like I was Lara and then I was getting up and going down to the kitchen, going swimming. Yeah, it was like my my interactive Barbie. <laughs> Did anyone else used to do that? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Would also be pretty nice to have a bath that size and the shower is just crazy massive. <laughs> It's so massive. And I also used to get so confused about why Lara had two toilets. But I'm assuming one of them is a bidet or something. But I didn't know that as a child. I was just like, why she got two toilets? Interesting. Right, so let's go unleash Winston. <laughs> Now that we've done everything, this was amazing. So nostalgic to play this. Right, come on, Winston. We want our dinner. Oh, he's frozen. Winston, are you dead? Winston. Oh, there you are. You're fine. You see, he was only messing. Right, come on. Get the dinner ready. Thank you. You're like a father to me. But I froze you and now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god. I had too much fun. Too much fun. Right, so before we end this video, I do just want to hop back to the main menu and check out the Tomb Raider 2 achievements just so we can look through them again and keep them in mind as we're playing. Okay, so Tomb Raider 2 achievements. So we already got one. Delivery people have finally arrived. Check out the treasury. Emergency exit. Break any window with yourself. Ooh. Crime and punishment. Allure the butler into the fridge. Wait for him to make a bad sound and lock him in there. Oh, wait for him to fart and then lock him in there. The true detox of evil. Get hidden M16 rifle in the diving area. Bartley stash. Get hidden Uzis in boathouse. Like Caesar, go through the water shaft in one breath with a gold dragon in your backpack. Oh, if that's in... Is it the 40 Fathoms level? That's really hard. Cooler than Moonraker. Jump from a boat to another boat, making the first one blow up on mines. Oh, jump from the boat into another. That's tricky as well. Cool. Moving doesn't change who you are. Obtain library key without moving the chandeliers. Fight off the bees. <laughs> Break all the windows with your enemy's initials. 10 out of 10, perform a somersault dive into the water. Pollen allergy. Don't move the flower block in Bartley's hideout. Ready to raid. Finish the assault course in 120 or less. Yeah, there's not a chance I'm doing that. 
No time for the plague, don't let the rats bite you. <laughs> no unnecessary moves, do not break the floor panel to get the gold secret in living quarters. I'm not climbing the walls for this. Do not use the ledge, but take no damage from the flying blades in the great wall. Gold digger, take the golden one before the rest of the secret dragons in opera house. Attentiveness rewarded, find a shortcut to avoid entering a room with two levers and moving a block on a blue duct in living quarters. Ah, crane dive, dive to a lake from the top of the guardhouse. No fish soup today. Don't hurt the sharks, but don't let them bite you either. I'm sorry, all those sharks are going down. They are going down, I don't care. 20 out of 10, perform a double somersault dive into the water. With respect for cultural heritage, cross the broken roof by dropping only three wooden panels in the opera house. In a rush, do not remove either of the two blocks from the wall near the fire area. An unexpected visit, do not use the tall ladder to enter the monastery. Comrade Croft, finish the Mel Nikov Island chapter. So that's for, yeah, Golden Mask. Wipeout Master, pass four swinging obstacles in temper of Xi'an without slowing down and getting hurt. The end doesn't justify the means, prevent the monks from being killed. The Tibetan Express, slip next to the two blocks on the snowmobile. Anger Management, have Lara get so mad about missing the helicopter that she explodes in a jump. <laughs> Per aspera ad astra, get through the obstacles to the trapdoor key with the jade dragon and no damage. Recess bell, ring the fourth bell and reach the ladder, stepping on the slides no more than four times. Like father, like son, light a flare in front of Gianni Bartoli. Tibetan osteopathy, in the first cave of Tibetan foothills, break the ice wall with your back and survive. No crazy golf, let the green boulders stay where they are. Nervous wreck, finish wreck of the Maria Doria level by swan diving into the water and swimming to the end in one breath without taking damage. True, come small member, don't break any hammer and sickle windows. Capitalist accumulation, get hidden harpoon gun, M16, automatic pistols and Uzis in the first level. What? I only play for sport still, finish the game in less than six hours. Okay, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get most of these. A land walk, get the cabin key from the inflatable boat without swimming in the underground lake. And I want it now. As the snowball moves, manage to get the Tibetan mask in 25 seconds or less. Better not slip here, illuminate the deepest chasm. Let's saddle up, jump into the boat from the highest height possible. Anutara Samayak Sambodhi. Light a flare in front of the mystical eyes. Snow March, finish first two levels without using snowmobiles. We'll surpass you and we'll go forward. Run through a corridor with a rolling blade without stopping and without taking damage. Very hard boiled, beat the game using only Lara's pistols. On equal terms, do not hurt Xi'an swordsmen when they are levitating, but eliminate all of them. Public service, drop all the icicles. Icicles? Drop all the icicles in the Tibetan levels without being hurt. Snowmobile champion, reach the top of the hill and make it back to the gate before the avalanche completely stops at the bottom. The dissolution, break all shattered floor panels over big funnel. Ordered to be shot, do not let flamethrower enemies have time to use their weapons. The motherland calls, do a handstand on top of the sculpture. Ooh, is that in Vegas? Solve the problems of deficit. Pick up the box of flares before the boulder rolls down. Defensive capabilities. Don't hurt the catfish, but don't let them bite you either. Catfish? Where is their catfish? Hmm, interesting. I don't remember that. Harvest plan implemented. Take every collectible item in a single walkthrough. Denouncing the enemy. Throw a flare into a small rat hole. Starring one more time. Beat the game on New Game Plus. Fire safety. Catch fire from every possible enemy and extinguish it in the water. Souvenirs from around the globe, take every collectible item in a single walkthrough. And then there are 68 hidden achievements. Okay, well they all sound sufficiently difficult. I do applaud you if you are going for all achievements. That seems like it would take quite some time. <laughs> but some of those achievements are really exciting, so I'm going to keep them in mind as I play through the game. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited to be starting into Tomb Raider 2. A huge thank you as always to my amazing channel members. 
They are Zanir, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael Malou, Dealey Boy, Jared, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axmania, Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Parkington, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock, Jason Hellman, Hunter McDaniel, Carl Profix, Susie Kwan, CB, Brenda, Adenio, Jen the JJ, Binho, Sam, Josh Wood, a Seber888, Bill Gilroy, Jojo, Emerald Raider, and I would like to give a huge welcome to the new members who have joined the channel, Marcus Leandro, Carmen Delac, Alicia Jade Fisher, Halit, and Matthias. Thank you so, so much for joining us, supporting my channel, and if you are a member, please don't forget to check out the membership section on YouTube. There you get early access to all my videos. We have some conversations on there and everything, so do make sure you're checking that out. I know a few members weren't aware that it was there, so just to let everyone know, we would love to see you in the members section. Thank you so, so much, and I will see you really soon in the next video.